Hello everyone, Agent here, and in today's video, I'm gonna help you to go deep. Don't worry, you're in the right place. The only reason I said that is because I'm gonna use this intro for other videos as well, because all of the entrances lead to the same place. I chose this part because it's the easiest for the Cyclops to enter, it has the same amount of Leviathans as the other entrances, but I quite like this one. So I'm gonna head north, northeast, towards the Gun Island. Some of people call it the Gun Island, some people call it the first island, the island with the turret that shot down the sunbeam, you get the idea. So I'm gonna head straight there and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, and we're back. So as you can see, we've reached the island and what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the right side of this island until we reach the back. I've marked it as Alien Moon Pool, so once you get to the back of the island, which is not that difficult, and it's fairly safe from that side, you'll reach the Moon Pool. And we'll use that as a frame of reference. Keep in mind, down here is a Leviathan. Rig for Cylon running. So you might want to act activate that, but also, let's use our little camera, figure out where we are. What I'm going to do is I'll show you where he is. He's right down there. And for some reason he's very upset today. I would normally say that it's fairly safe, don't worry, just ignore him. But today is not that day. He is. So what we'll do is we'll access Silent Running. And we'll just creep past that guy. We shouldn't have any issues keeping an eye on that radar. As you can see, the facility is taking its time to load in. And what we're gonna do is... Oh, there we go. Yeah, my turret is facing down because I've already deactivated it. Yours will be facing upright. Okay. So, down here is the alien moon pool. Okay, right there. I do apologize, it's taking a bit longer than I expected, but the Reaper kind of messed up my whole... my whole video. But what you want to do is face this direction. I'll go out of it, so you can see on my compass. We are going east, southeast. And I'm going to switch on the camera so you can see what we're going to do at some point is go down 200 meters. I marked it as corridor and it's not as far, it's like 180 meters or so, it's not that far. So let's see, any reapers? None. So what we're going to do is we're going to start going down a bit. 200 meters. Sorry, that was up. As you can see, there's not a lot of leeway recording this. Um, the route I'm going is quite extensive. It takes forever and... Yeah. So, you can see we're already at 120 meters. I'll switch on the camera. And what you're looking for is a ridge like this one. Keep in mind there's another Reaper down here and hopefully it doesn't attack me. Normally I swim straight over this thing but I need to show you where. Just for safety sake switch on that. And switch on the camera. This is what you're looking for is this ridge right here with the warpers and so forth. You'll go over this ridge, you'll see some anchor pods off in the distance, and some eels, don't worry about them, they're not as dangerous as they seem. So we're going straight down. Until you reach this area over here. We 
finally reach it. Let me switch on the lights so you can see. Our camera again, sorry about that. And this is what you're looking for. You're looking for these little pieces of fungi, coral, whatever you want to call it. This is the entrance to the Lost River. Keep in mind, don't smash your cyclops trying to get down here. That's what we're looking for. Things might have not loaded in for me yet, but you'll see there's bone sharks and a few other creatures here and there. Let me see if I can get a better view of things without crashing into everything. So we'll go down. It should be fairly simple accessing this place. I'll jump out in just a second so you can see what we're looking at. Or rather, I'll just switch on the cameras. Basically, we've entered. And you'll find all kinds of life down here. There we go. We've got these coral. These um, pyro coral. Pretty sure that's what they're called. And you'll notice the water turning at well green at some point. There we go. Seek fluid intake. Okay. From this angle, we're still going to go down. Once you find this little waterfall down here. You'll see, once everything loads in, you'll have a clear idea of what I'm talking about. We can even switch on the camera. Let's face this straight ahead, so you can see. So what you're looking for is this waterfall. Same entrance, nothing changed. You're still in the right place. Once you see this little waterfall, you know you're still on track. There's that little lava, by the way, that chows your energy. And we're gonna go down, off in the distance. I've already came through here, so that is the creature decoy, by the way. Right in front of us is a huge hole. And the Leviathan should be in this area. There he is. So we're gonna switch to Silent Running. Running. And all we're gonna do that's a bit too late, thank you very much. Is quickly sneak down here. Hopefully he ignores us. We're gonna basically hover above this hole and go straight down. There he goes. He got distracted by that decoy. That's what it's there for. He pushes it around. Okay. Here we go. Let me just get into position. You'll notice things start turning red. Let me switch cameras. And if you look straight down, you'll see lava. So what you want to do in this first section is basically take your prawn suit and get as much kyanite as you can. That will give you the thermal or the death modules you need. As you can see, there's a lot of these lavas. And we should see the sea dragon fairly soon. He's highly aggressive. So be careful. And we are on our way to the thermal plant. Yeah, like I said, you don't have a lot of warnings when you're about to hit something. That's too late. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of... At this location. 
and I'm going to jump into the prawn suit. And the reason being is the moment you take the Cyclops in there, the Sea Dragon is not going to be very, very happy. Okay, so I'm going to get into the prawn suit, check in a bit. Okay, as you can see, I just jumped out of the prawn suit. I'm at this bottom section. And I'll slowly go around this section. The nice thing about the thermal plant is it's right in front of you. The annoying part is that the sea dragon is not friendly. And if the game doesn't load in properly like it does now, you'll have a bit of an issue. But what you're looking for is right ahead. The sea dragon is honestly really scary. Okay, that mountain. You're aiming for that mountain, by the way. Things might get a little bit interesting now. Because it's about dodging the, the sea dragon. Yeah, remember your prawn suit has a huge enemy and it's called terrain. So I'm going to jump all the way up and that's the entrance. I don't see the sea dragon yet, which is not the case. Normally he's right in front of you. Okay, and we made it. Entrance, fairly simple. You jump down and the reason for the drill arm there's a lot of resources. That's a sea dragon, by the way. Not friendly. I'm quite lucky that he didn't show up at all. Kind of wish that happened at the first section of this video. Okay, so you'll keep going down these tunnels. Don't worry, it's you won't get lost, honestly. There. All I did was I kept coming down. It looks fast, it looks confusing, but honestly, it's it's not difficult. Once you're inside that door, you're fine. This is another reason why the grappling arm is important. You'll come out at this section. So the door is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump and wiggle my way on top of that and then into the side. The reason for the drill arm here is because you can actually mine a lot of iron crystals inside this building. So you see, that's the hole, was down there, and I came on to the side. There you go. You can actually enter these facilities with your prawn suit. Um, there might be a little movement issue here and there, but you'll use your grappling arm if you get stuck. I'll let you explore this one on your own. Thank you for watching.